Hey guys, it's Mike here from Roadie Baggers. And if that looks like a seven year old drew that logo, you're right. So, this is going to be a, a break in video. It's going to be a little different than other ones that have been out there. A lot of people are asking about high end bags, how to break them in, am I going to ruin them? You spend three, four hundred dollars on bags. You don't want to mess them up, right? You don't want to overcook them, as they say, and don't boil. We'll get into that in a minute. But what we're going to do is, um, I have three sets of bags. They're all 6'9 speed. And what I'm going to do is break them all in in different ways. And then we're going to test to see what the slides are for the different breaking processes. So the way that I'm going to break them in is... We're going to do, um, the first one we're going to do is not broken in at all. Second one we're going to do is to just tumble it. That's going to simulate just throwing um, and then on a low heat. The third thing we're going to do is a hot water soak, a little bit of Dawn just to get the, the chemicals of sublimation, manufacturing it, getting it, sewing it, and putting it all together. Just getting, that, getting rid of that uh, light detergent. Dawn and, and hot water soak. Um, the next way we're going to do it is Corbin's way, Corbin Forica's way, and that's going to be the um, wrinkle guard with the detergent uh, gentle cycle in the washing machine, and then uh, tumble dry, low heat. And then the last way we're going to do it is uh, conditioner, massage conditioner into it, then have it soak, then we're going to use the Dawn to get that conditioner out of there, and then tumble it. And each one of these we're going to do with a different bag, all four of them. Um, and then we're going to try to test them on a slide test on different board conditions. So what I'm going to do is have it cold and low humidity, uh, and then we're going to try to do it hot and high humidity, just so we can see what the differences are, not only in just the bags, because we're going to do it before, um, we even break them in so that's going to show you what the difference is just in the humidity and the temperature But then also how the break-in process is going to affect each one of those each each um, Condition that you might face and conditions that might change during a tournament And that's why we'll get into that slide test and how to figure it out and do all the all those rules and values and and how to uh which how to navigate that so the ones that we're going to break in today are going to be the 724 apox uh, real high-end bag really nice and they're a 69 we're going to do the cornhole scenario um, cat twos and again 69 uh, we're going to break these in we're going to test them we're going to run them through the mill and then the tc boards revolution they're all 6'9", it's, the it's the speed that suits me, it's the speed that I like to play. But any, you can try this with any bags that, that you use. And so that's kind of where we're going to go. Um, the video is going to get a little bit more in depth. Um, I'm going to try to simplify it as much as I can. Kind of a nerd about this stuff, love to kind of get into it. Um, if it's too much, fast forward to the end, I'll put up the values that we get and an overall synopsis of, of what we what we did here and the results. Um, just want to throw a couple of thank yous out there. Corbin Foraker, uh, Jared Nash, Spencer Quinton, Chris Masterson, R. Kelly, Silas Hess, uh, Jay Serpa, Kyle Butler, Kenny Gates for letting me use his boards, and uh, my corner partner, Dennis Lanny. So, uh, hopefully you get something out of this. I think it's pretty interesting. It's something that I've been toying around with for a while now. Just kind of trying to mess around and just see what, uh, what different effects have on different bags and, um, and go from there. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start this up. So we have uh, three sets of bags, and the other one is just going to be tumbled. So that's going to be off to the side. It's not going to get soaked. It's not going to get wet. It's going to just simulate that it was thrown, and that's it. So these are going to actually get wet. One's going to go in the washing machine, one's going to get um, the conditioner treatment, and one is just going to get the Dawn treatment, and the one with the conditioner is going to get the Dawn as well. 
Um, so what I like to do is I have half the sinks filled with hot water, half of it's cold water or, you know, colder water, not ice cold. And what I like to do is just take them and just rinse them into the cold water. And the reason why I like to do that, put them all in there, rinse them out, is it's cool water, so it's good to um, just make sure that if there's, if, if there's any ink that wants to kind of bleed, it's not going to go right into the hot water and then immediately bleed. Um, you're going to rinse it off and, and, and any, any other little things that might be on there, um, rinse those off too. I just like to do it really quick in the cool water uh, before I do anything to it. So after I do this, three of the bags are going to go uh, get massaged with, um, with this conditioner. And this is the conditioner that I use. I use birch bark for herbal essence. You can use Pantene. Um, anything that is uh, paraben free, dye, color free, the whole thing, sulfate free. Uh, this is just a good one. Herbal essence, bio renew. It's, it's a whole line. Um, different, different scents that it comes in. This one's birch bark extract is the scent. And it's just not really that harsh of a scent. So the other thing is the Dawn. Just, you know, Blue Dawn. Regular blue dawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse these off, save you the, I'm going to rinse them off camera, and then I'll come back and we're going to do, we're going to massage the uh, conditioner into them, put them in the hot water for a soak, and then we're going to do a quick little dawn, change this out for hot water, and then that's going to go in there, then we're going to take the other three, we're going to bring them downstairs, and then we're going to do the detergent and uh, wrinkle guard on the general cycle. All right, so we're back and we got both of these are filled with hot water. Um, this is going to be where we use the conditioner and then we're going to rinse it with Dawn. This side we're going to do the manufacturer's recommendation which is just a hot water Dawn soak and then air dry it. Uh, rinse the Dawn out obviously and then air dry it. This here we're going to do the conditioner then we're going to do a Dawn rinse just the same rinse it out fresh water and then we're going to tumble this one though. Uh, this one here, this is um, Vivian from Cornhole Scenario uh, recommends doing this and so does Jared. The Dawn is optional. The hot water soak is what they recommend. Doing the, uh, the Dawn is optional. Tumbling is also optional. I'm going to do the, um, just the air dry just so that it's, uh, you know, so that it, it borders more on the conservative line of not getting them too broken in kind of what we're trying to go for here just break them in at different levels so this here I'm going to start off and we're going to do these with all the bags but just for time's sake I'm just going to do this first one and then I'm going to go so about a quarter size amount of dawn blue dawn and then just take it start massaging it in you're not going to get it too crazy massaged in you're going to kind of just work it around Make sure, with all this stuff, if you're going to condition anything, you're going to try to use breaker serum, which many say is conditioner, but, uh, you know, it specifically says in the ACL rules that you can use these approved things. Uh, you know, take that as, uh, as you will. Um, they, they feel the same. I've used both, and they play the same after you rinse them with Dawn. Uh, some people say you don't have to rinse them with Dawn with the serum. I, I, I just rinse them with Dawn, and they, they play exactly the same. So uh, one way or the other, I don't know if there's, you know, I don't know the chemical compounds in it, but with the conditioner, once you rinse it with Dawn, it brings it back to there's no residue, there's nothing like that. And that's why the, uh, the Dawn rinse is, is really big. So here we go. Just going to massage the corners, really get that in there, and then you're going to soak it. All right, so we're going to put it right down in here. There you go. And you want to get all the air out of it, make sure that it's, yeah, it's hot water. Make sure it sits at the bottom. There you go. Okay, so that's going to be in there. That's that. Now with this, a little bit more. It's going to be a little bit more aggressive. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to put... <laughs> well, that much of a squirt. I'm talking about maybe a half dollar size. Okay? I'm going to get your bag. I'm going to put a good amount of it on most of the corners and seams and then kind of spread it out on the rest of it, on the rest of the bag. When you're doing this, you want to really work those corners. You really want to work those seams. Right. Try to keep this, keep the conditioner 
that's coming down from staying out of the, uh, the Dawn side. And again, if, I'll probably just refill that with more Dawn, with more Dawn, fresh Dawn water for it to soak if too much of this condition goes down. Obviously, this is for a video, so I'm not doing multiple different ways and testing them. This is all just as an instructional kind of investigative way of how should you break in bags. So this here, as you're doing this Dawn, the most aggressive way to, to break in these bags, I would say, right? So you're gonna really wanna get them into the corners and as aggressive as you wanna get is as aggressive as you wanna get. If you wanna just have it touch, get it touched with Dawn, we're done. If you wanna really kind of work it in, really get that thing, work it for five minutes. You know, work each bag five minutes, do what you wanna do, but that's gonna be up to you, how broken in that you wanna get it, right? And I know people are going, oh my God, breaking in cats, breaking in 724 APOX with, with this, I'm, it, this is instructional. This is just so that it's out there and people, everybody's asking, how do I break these in? What's the difference? How? This is, that's what this is for. We're showing, or I'm showing, just here's the differences. Here's how they play, here's how floppy they get at the end. And like I say, they, they're all gonna reach an equilibrium at some point. You throw them enough, if you don't even do anything to them and just throw them, they're gonna get to an equilibrium where they're just gonna be floppy. <laughs> you know, if, you, if, if they get too floppy for you and that's the end of it, well, you gotta buy some new bags. But So here's what we got. We'll let that sit for an hour, let that sit for an hour. I'm gonna take them both out. This we're gonna rinse, with because it's already just dawn, so we're gonna rinse this with the fresh water, get the dawn out of it. This we're gonna do a dawn we're going to scrub it with Dawn and rinse it at the same time, and then we're going to go tumble it. And this one we're going to air dry, I should say. This one we're going to tumble. Okay, so after an hour of sitting in there, we're going to take this. This is the Dawn side, so we don't have to use Dawn again, obviously. We're just going to rinse this one. We're going to rinse whatever Dawn is in this bag out. Then we're going to bring it out, and we're going to do an air dry. And I'll show how... There's a way you can do air drying with if you have a box fan. Things will go a little bit quicker. Um, you can, you know, obviously, if you just some people put it um, overnight, you can put it right in your dishwasher. The racks, right? You have your dishwasher. Just stand them up like they like in the top rack to make sure you don't run it, and just let it kind of sit in there and dry because that'll stand up. That'll keep them up. Keep all the water kind of run down to one side, and it'll uh, it'll dry them that way. So as I'm going around, you're just trying to work the seams out, get all that dawn out. And the way that you're gonna know the dawn's out is you go like, you, you squeeze the bag. You make sure you fill it with, with this fresh water. And then when you squeeze it and it's coming out, you wanna make sure there's no suds, no bubbles coming out. So no bubbles, you can see there's no bubbles whatsoever. This one's ready to go, no more dawn on it. Now this here, we got our conditioner, right? Still got the conditioner on it and you can feel it. You can feel that it's a little bit slimy. It's not what you want when you're playing. Grab yourself a you know, dime size of the, of the Dawn. And now we're gonna do the same thing that we did, only we're not gonna soak it. We're just gonna strip all that out. We're gonna strip out all the conditioner and all that residue. And basically what we're doing is we're gonna bring it back to as close as we can to what the um, manufacturer wants. The way that it's just soaked in Dawn, that's pretty much what they want you to do. This way is just an aggressive way if you want to get it a lot softer, a lot quicker. Because this is going to be completely hole friendly or however you want to put it, ready to go. As soon as this is done, this is going to get tumbled, this is going to get beat up in the washing, in the dryer. Um, so you're going to be good. To so just as a, just a quick little thing here, if, if you're feeling that there's a lot of there's a lot of residue, there's a lot, you, you can feel that it's a little bit slimy. In this corner, it's got a little bit of, and you can feel that, that conditioner. I don't recommend conditioning it and then not doing the Dawn. If you're going to condition something, I mean, even bag sir, I mean, they'll, obviously the, the company selling it to you are going to have how they want you to do it, but the Dawn, it's just good. It's good for brand new bags. Even if you're not going to do a hot water soak, it just gets the manufacturing processes out of them kind of takes any dust and dirt or anything else that's around there from when they got manufactured and it just kind of cleans them up a little bit makes them feel good and obviously it loosens them up 
makes them play the way that they want, the way that they're intended to. So now this is all good. See, no more suds coming out. So good to go. This is gonna go get a little tum uh, pillow, put in a pillow, tumbled with a couple of um, towels in the dryer on low heat for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half until it's dry. These guys are gonna go out to get the air dry and then we'll be back at it. Okay, so here it is, the famed Floriker method. This is Corbin's uh, personal method that he uses for a lot of bags. Admittedly, he said he doesn't use them for cats, but this is a video that we're experimenting, so this is what we're doing. Uh, so we got our bags here, and what we do is we downy wrinkle guard, all right? I like it with no scent. The only thing they had was the fresh, so a little bit of scent. Uh, and then your regular detergent, right? So now put it for warm, small. There you go. That proves it's a working washing machine. With the tips and tricks. Kids and all, so. Warm, cold, small, and then the gentle cycle. Detergent. Ankle guard. Bags. And let it run for the cycle. I'm gonna throw them right in the dryer. I'm gonna put them in the dryer for an hour. I check them in an hour. Sometimes they're nice and dry. They usually are. Um, so this one. Tie it in a knot, right? No zipper on this one. So. Tie it off. That's why I like the long one. It's good enough, but you could throw a nice knot in there. And then to make it so that it's not going to beat up so much, right? I got this blanket. It's like a king size uh, sheet. And then um, I usually throw a towel or two in there as well. So now, as it's going to go around, if I feel like it's banging too much, eh, throw another towel on, throw another couple towels, and it's not going to hurt it. Um, you know, you don't want to destroy your bearings in, in your dryer with trying to mess with bags either. So, you know, if you hear it really banging around and banging around and it's getting to be a little too much and the thing's walking on you, then you might want to, you know, throw a, a, a twin size comforter. Uh, my kid's comforter works really well in, in this situation too. So, that's another way to do it. Uh, but put it in for an hour, low heat. You could do no heat and uh, let it tumble around. It's going to break them in a little bit more, dry them up, obviously, and then test them in an hour. If they're nice and dry, you're good. If they need another 20 minutes, go ahead, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you need. They more than likely won't need an hour. Hour and a half is going to be the maximum that they're going to need to dry, though. So we'll be back. With All right, this is going to be a real quick little show of how to air dry bags. Box fan on its back. Sometimes I'll put a little, a couple of blocks under here just to get good airflow, but flows good enough on the stainless steel table. Stole my wife's uh, pooling rack for her cookies and bags on top. There you go. And that should be dry and yeah, by the end of the night. Okay, nice and hot, fresh out of the dryer. And, uh, towels, and we got bags, hot zipper. So here's our conditioned bags. And the, the problem is this flop. It's, uh, you know, Here's the problem. Somebody wants to sell you bags, you know, secondhand. You could put all the all the pellets in the front. Look at that. That's not even broken in, right? Put all the pellets in the back. Look at that. Wet dish rag, right? So I like to put them flat and then take it across two inches on, two inches off on a on a sharp angle, and then have it just kind of 
fall off and, and just show it. I guess you could put a protractor or a goyometer or whatever you call it there and see what the angle is, but it's kind of arbitrary. It's it's tough to see on the on the camera, like I said before, but we'll go upstairs and um, show which ones each, um, you know, show, show the different ones and, and how they are broken in. All right, so we're back up here with all of the bags, the three that we broke in, and then the this set that's brand new so i had to mark it they progressively get what i would feel is more um conditioned or softened all right so what i did i took it all the seams are facing that way this is two inches right here so uh I took the bags Flattened it out, took the other two of the set, it was just to about where the eagle's head is there. Brought it out, made sure it's right at the line, so it's got two inches on and two inches off. There you go. And then you can see what the flop is. You have the weight of the bags, it's holding it pretty level on the top for the two inches. And then the other four, it's going to drop off. So that's brand new. That right there is the manufacturer's recommendation with the Dawn, uh, the hot water soak, and then the air dry. There's my daughter. Had to get in the video. Here is um, the detergent, wrinkle guard, in the washing machine, and then tumble dried. And then here is the conditioner um, with the soak, and then the Dawn, and then tumble dry. So you can tell that's definitely, that's a difference between that one and that one, clearly. And it, I, I feel like it progressively gets a little bit more and more of a flop as each of these goes down the line. So I'll do each one. I'm not going to talk much more over it I'll just kind of go right through I'll just put it up and put it up for the next two all right here's the apox brand new dawn and air dry wrinkle guard and detergent in the machine with the tumble dry and then conditioner and dawn and then tumble dry the other thing I wanted to say about this is I do it with the uh the slick side up. This is because usually it's the thinner side, so you're gonna get more of a flop off of, off of it because it's gonna be able to flex a little bit more. Uh, usually the slow side is thicker. It's not gonna to wanna to bend as much on the top. So it'll bend a little bit more on the bottom because it's thicker, but it's not gonna to wanna to bend on the top. So this is kind of as floppy as it's gonna get right now. If I flipped it over, it would, it would just be fractionally not as floppy. Okay, and then here are the cat twos. They're all pretty much the same result. You know, it progressively gets a little bit more floppy. And that's certainly the most floppy, as you can tell. So, yeah, it's that time of the day. The kids have to be on, on the film, so. Uh, so okay. So that's what it is, and then what we're going to do is go and do all the testing now, and then uh, and then go from there. So that'll be the next phase of this thing. All right, so I just want to put a bow on the whole thing. That's the whole break-in process, um, and it's the most popular break-in processes that people use. I just wanted to do it on some more popular bags and some more of the, you know, what they're calling high-end bags. So you're not sitting there going, I'm going to ruin my bags because, you know, they're $350. You know, they using a lot of the same materials as other bags and I just wanted to prove that it's going to be it's going to be okay it's just it depends on how how you want to actually break them in how broken in you want to get them so it's just proven that it's not you're not going to destroy your bags doing any of those methods I said I was going to mention um, boiling and why not to really boiling uh, you, you can get yourself into some problems you can it, the temperature of the water is so high that it can actually melt the pellets, especially if it's the smaller type of pellets. If you feel it and they're really um, like 
sandy, like grainy. Um, they could melt, I mean, you know, that's, and, and then fuse to each other. And that's when you're going to have problems. So if you keep an eye on it and, you know, you only boil, boil it for a minute or two, but why even take that risk? I'm proving here that you can get them to be in, you know, at different levels and in, a, in good shape using these methods. So if you really want them broken in, the conditioner and then Dawn and tumbling them, do that. I mean, that's just, you're going to get them like up on the scale as broken in as they're going to be. And they're going to be broken in at that level for a long time before they're not usable anymore. But that's going to be way down the road, you know. Um, so I would just not boil. Stay away from it. You know, you don't want them to get crispy. You don't want them to fall down to the bottom. And then you end up like pasta, you know, when you don't stir the pasta and you have like three or four of them down there and now you're scrubbing that pan. That's your bag. If you don't stir it, you know, just don't boil. It doesn't make any sense, really. So, uh, yeah, just stay away from all of that. Now, the next video that we're going to do, I had mentioned earlier, and, and this is that's the fun stuff for me. We're going to start getting into doing the speed tests and doing, you know, basically we're going to move the board at an angle in different conditions with di the different break-in methods. And we're going to see how the, how the bags slide and um, judge them from there. And so what that's going to do, and I'll get into it more in the next video, is it's going to be able to tell you how your bags react in real time. So if you're at a tournament, you'll be able to take, your bo take the board that you're playing on, and if you know that you like playing on the board that's tilted at 21 degrees in a certain condition, oh, I, I threw real well there. Well, that's what you like. That's where you want that slide factor or that, you know, that friction to be and that coefficient of friction to be. And if you put it up at 21 degrees and you go, oh, that, that particular bag slide in there, you know that's the bag that you want to use. That's what we're going to be driving at the next video. It's pretty cool. The results were, 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 uh, were there was a result. It was, it was something where, you know, I didn't know if it was going to actually work out or not. But it actually, there was good results, and I have a, a ton of data that I'm going to get into, and it's going to get a little bit in the weeds. But as far as this video, I hope you enjoyed it. You know, it's just hands-on showing how to actually, you know, really work on that, those bags and where you want them to be, you know. Be conservative, just soak them, put them in Dawn, and, you know, just do that and, and let them air dry. And then if you feel like, ah, I could really use a little bit more, work your way up that scale. You know, or if you really want them to be broken in and you don't want to mess around, and look, I just want them to be done, I want them for tonight, that wrinkle guard and, and detergent and then tumble or the conditioner and Dawn, that's perfect. I mean, you know, go at it. It's, you're not going to ruin any bags there. And especially with carpet, the, the wrinkle guard and, and, um, and detergent, you're, that's, you're not going to have any problems there. That's what you're going to want to, that's how you're going to want to break those in. You know, all those other different bag breaker serums and, and all the other different things and, you know, whatever else um, is coming out. I feel like if you substitute those for a conditioner, that would, be, that would be the same thing. And there's no knock on those. Those are great products. Use them. You know, use them instead of the conditioner if you want. I mean, that's, they're good products. Um, it's just I, I would want to wash them with Dawn afterwards. And that's kind of, that's everything, you know. Um, it just depends on personally how floppy that you want it right off the bat. And, and that's going to be a personal choice. And like I said, start low. Start it just, just you know, dawn, hot water, soak. Do, only do it for 20 minutes. Then air dry it. Oh, man, these are still, they're not broken in yet. Okay, do it again if you want to take it real slow. Or say, all right, I want to do wrinkle guard and detergent and tumble. They're going to be broken in after that. You know, you'll be good to go. Um, so just wanted to show an, an actual video of, of proving that this isn't, you know, you're not going to destroy your bags. It's going to be okay, you know. I would only say that if they're thinner material and if you pinch it and it's, it feels thinner, you know, maybe you want to start off on the, on the more conservative side just so that you can understand, you know, what you're getting into because it's, it's really tough to go back. It's, it's, these methods are relatively easy to break them in, but it's really hard once you get them past a certain point to go, oh, no, it's, it's, it's too floppy now. You know, so I would be conservative with a lot of the thinner materials, the linens and, and, and things like that. So that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, you can subscribe. I'm going to have more content. Or, uh, or just, you know, watch the video, like it, and I hope that it helped you out. Okay? Thanks. We'll see you next time.